Hi, this is Derek Murphy from creativeindy.com. I'm just making a quick video to show you uh, how to use the template. So once you've signed up at DIYbookformats.com, which is this page, um, if you've signed up, then you'll be taken to this page, which is where you can download the free book formatting templates. This is a simple package of templates I made um, to help you get started formatting quickly. So there is no push button automatic formatting solution um, that really works for everything. And you don't really want one because you want your book to be unique. But I think with um, these templates and also the free guides for InDesign and Microsoft Word and eBooks, uh, that'll save you a lot of time and effort because you can learn how to format pretty quickly. So this is kind of what the templates look like. Um, I've designed all of these. I've been a book designer for about 10 years. So they're already decent, and I've only used free fonts in this package to make it a little bit easier. Um, so when you download, what you're going to see is a folder like this. It's a zip folder, so you just need to unzip, and you'll see these minimal templates. I have this um, PDF of best fonts by genre. You don't necessarily have to use these fonts, but I made these for cover design, actually. So for example, for thrillers, here are the style of fonts that might work. Um, for westerns, for chiclet. These are just some examples, but really you want to have your cover design first and you want your book formatting to match your cover design. So mostly your book formatting, all of the um, body text is going to be the same. It's going to be really simple serif font. I have a list actually under free fonts. There's a list of the best um, free fonts you can use that look good for the body font, but basically just this one simple serif font for all of the body text, but then one nice, more decorative font for the chapter headings. And that's going to be something like this, although you really want to be, um, you don't want to over design. So you want to be careful if you're using these. These may all be too much. You might just want to use something cleaner and simpler for your design. But if you open up one of these, you'll see the fonts that I've actually included because they're free fonts. Um, it's okay for me to do that. There's a PDF of what this format looks like. This is uh, just co basic copyright stuff that you want to change with your own website, your own information. There's a little table of contents. I've used, I've set um, in here, there's links to the fonts just in case you don't get them. You don't have to use these fonts, you can change them up, but just to make sure you, that your format looks the same as my sample, you'll need to have those fonts installed. And then really, before you get into using the templates, you should read the free guide and the videos. Um, oops, it looks like I linked this wrong. This is to DIY book covers, and it should be DIY templates. So I'll fix that soon and add a new package. Um, and what this does is I've designed it so that each chapter has a different style. Let me show you in Word, it's a little easier. Um, so if I go into the Word document, because I've set this up with styles, if you go to View and Navigation pane, you'll see these chapter headings. And I've done each one in a different style. So here's chapter one, chapter two, three, four. I'm using the same fonts, but I'm just um, changing the style. So that way you can choose a style that you like. There's five minimal templates, and each one has five different chapter styles. So there's actually 25 styles for chapter settings. That's really all you're going to do, because the rest of it um, is going to be pretty simple. You have an indent. Most paragraphs are indent. The first paragraph is usually not indented and sometimes there's a little bit of fancy style, all caps or a different font. Um, there's spacing. These are already set up well with spacing and headers and footers and everything. Um, so you don't need to really mess around with the, um, the size or the margins or fonts or anything. You can just pick one that looks good and pick one chapter heading that looks good and just kind of copy this style. The easy way to do it is just you know, take chapter two, and if you want to use that one, 
you can go up to chapter one and just copy and replace this and do the same for three um, but actually because I've used style so this is actually let's see styles are up here and so I have a heading one style I have a subtitle style so really what you want to do is if you change this at all and mess around with it you want to right click and update the style because then everything else is going to be automatically the same that's why you want to use style so you don't have to go through and do everything manually you just change things how you want once and update the style and um, everything will look good it, it does take some getting used to um, after every chapter like if I want to add more chapters here I have to go down to the end of chapter 5 which is here and I have to insert oops, page layout break next page and then this is where I would just start my next chapter heading um, there's no header on the first page of a new chapter I go in a lot more detail about all this stuff on the videos um, this is kind of just a short crash course introduction to using the templates so you can start using these um, but really to save a lot of time you're going to want to go back to DIY book formats and watch the basic guides for InDesign or Microsoft Word because there are some things um, that you need to learn and if you learn how to do things the right way you're going to save yourself a lot of time so there's three videos here if you watch these and you use the templates um, and you can go through I made a text guide too if you don't want to watch all the videos you can scroll through here and kind of figure it all out it might take you a day or two to learn how to do it um, but then you won't make the mistakes that most authors make when they format their own books and they do that just because they don't know uh, what they should be doing and the right way to do it which is why I put up these free resources and videos and guides and everything so I hope these are useful um, let me know if you have any questions I'm going to send you some emails also um, about book formatting, book publishing, and marketing. I've been doing this a long time, so I've got a lot of um, value to share. And I've also been publishing my own books recently. So I know quite a bit about building a big author platform quickly, uh, getting a lot of people to sign up to your email list, getting a lot of downloads, getting a lot of visibility for your book. Those are the things I share on my main website, Creative Indie. So I'll talk about those in some future emails and you can unsubscribe anytime if you just um, got what you needed with the templates and you don't need you don't want to hear from me anymore that's that's fine too if these are useful for you and you um, you use the templates or you like the templates you can credit me or you can just link back to this site or share this site and I would appreciate it thanks a lot